Good morning and welcome to my YouTube channel. So this morning I've come to a beach for sunrise. Um, I've never been here before. Actually, it's something I haven't actually experienced a lot is taking photographs at beaches. So follow me this morning and let's see where the journey takes. So before the sun actually rises above the horizon, I'm actually using my filters this morning. So I've got a ISO 100, I've got a 5 second shutter speed and I'm at f11. But what I've also done is, I've actually got my polarizer filter on and I've got an ND grad on because I'm trying to get some lightness in the foreground but I'm also trying to get the colours in the horizon with the sunset. So I've set it up, I've focused halfway in to the scene, so I've focused into the sea just in front of me. I did check the tides and this is going to be, it's progressing towards low tide for half eight in the morning. And then it'll slowly come back in and should expect high tide about midday or one o'clock. So I've got plenty of time to explore and plenty of time to move closer to the water this morning. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my camera over and I'm going to do a panoramic shot. Again, I'm leaving all my settings as they are. I'm just going to lift the polarizer up a bit. Um, and I'm not quite getting a straight horizon here. So if I just increase my leg. Right, so what I'm doing here is I'm putting, as I'm doing a horizon on the beach, and because I'm standing on the dunes, I'm using the horizon of the sea and the sky as a centre line. So what I'll do is I'll take these images and I'll show you that image now. Okay, so the other thing I'm doing now is I'm getting down a bit lower because there's a, a stick in front of me beside the sand dunes. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus in on the stick with the sand dunes and I've got the horizon in the background with the sunrise. I mean, <laughs> what I'm really looking for is as much foreground interest as possible. There's been a lot of traffic, dogs and footprints around here, so it's difficult to get a composition where there's, there's smooth uh, sand. So what I'll do is I'll do a quick bracket exposure and get three images, an underexposed, a normal exposed and then an over overexposed, just in case I need that extra light to help me lift uh, the foreground. So again, I've remained at ISO 100 F11 at five seconds. So that's a nice image. Right, so what I'll do now is, I'm just going to move around and see if there's any other interest in sand dunes before I start working my way down onto the beach. Alright, so I found this bit of driftwood here. It's more like a big huge tree trunk. So again, so what I've had to do is I was going to take a really low shot but as I was setting up the composition, the driftwood breaks through the horizon. So when, when it comes to competitions, that's, that's a no-no. So what I've done is I've heightened my tripod so that I've got the tip of the driftwood below the second horizon line. So I've got three horizon lines here. I've got the actual horizon with the sky and the water. I've got the beach in the water, and then there's a ridge in the middle of the beach. So I've made sure I've positioned the tip of the driftwood below the third horizon line. 
So again, I'm speeding up the shutter speed. So I'm now at an eighth of a second, F11 ISO 100. I'll take the shot. I'm still using my filters because the sky's amazing. And I'm just looking further down to my right. There's a beautiful pinky sky down there. So I'm just going to bracket expose it because I want to get a brightish foreground so I can bring up the stumps in front of me. Okay, so I've set my composition up where I've got, my priorities are straight horizon and now what I've got is, I've zoomed into those two bumps of the log and I've zoomed back just a bit. I've just increased my zoom range and I'm trying it out first at a second because the sky is absolutely beautiful and what I want is the softness. What I can't avoid is all of the foot marks, but hey ho, that's just natural and that's what's here. So what I've actually got here is I've got that log that's submerged halfway through and then there's another piece of driftwood up on the far right. So I kind of have a leading line that goes all the way left to right and then I've got the beautiful sky just above. So I'm going to do a quick bracket exposure again, just do three shots and just min minimise the number of photos I'm going to be taking this morning. And then what I'll do is, I'll zoom further into the scene because um, I've got those logs now as foreground interest. And I'll just lift the camera up, I'll zoom straight in, there's another log in front of me. I'm just trying to see, so the, what I can do here is if I put my hand in front of the camera, I'll do a, a landscape panorama because it is absolutely beautiful. So I'm just going to drop my filter down just a bit. I'll take that shot. I'll focus into the centre of the image, which for me is just the very edge of the sand to the sea line on the beach. I've got that small log as foreground interest. And I'll take a third shot. Oh, the sky is absolutely amazing. I'll take the third shot, I'll put my hand in front and then that's that panoramic finished. The sun's just coming up and I think I've came right to the edge of the sea at just the right time. Oh, this is awesome. Absolutely awesome. I've even got the reflections in the waves right in front of me. Oh, it's absolutely beautiful. Right, so I'm just going to zoom in a wee bit further. Oh, wow, I've got the sun right in the centre of my image. I'm just quickly focusing. I've got 13th of a second F11 ISO 100 because I'm trying to freeze the waves just now. I'm watching just to make sure the tide doesn't come in because the tide is supposed to be going out so I'm okay to follow the water down. <clears throat> so what I'll do, I'm going to turn the camera around to portrait mode and that, if I can centre the sun, it'd be a really nice image. So what I'd also like to do is try and smoothen down the waves, but right now, the way that the sun's coming up, it's coming up quite quick actually. Um, I'm just going to flip the camera back over into landscape mode I'm just dropping my filter down I'm keeping my f-stop at 11 
because that sun's going to come up and get really, really bright in a minute. And what I really want is the reflection of the sun bouncing off the front of the beach right in front of me. Oh wow, this is awesome. And there's a lighthouse that I can see in the distance, so if I get the long lens out later on, I might be able to get a shot of the lighthouse. Oh wow, this is absolutely stunning. So what I might do now is just move a wee bit closer. Ho 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 ho! And I thought the tide was going out. So, I'll move this wee bit closer. I'll just make sure I've got my focus. Oh wow, that's stunning. Right, so I've put the long lens on. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to walk a wee bit closer and just see. I'm actually going to put the sun on the far right rather than in the centre of my composition. I'm just going to focus, make sure <coughs> that my lens is set to stabilise it off and let's see right so I've got some nice images here now what I'm going to do is increase my shutter speed so I'll increase the shutter speed to 2 50th of a second I'm going to have to drop my ISO sorry my f-stop to 2.8 and let's see if we can catch some sharp I'm trying to get the wave out there's a couple of crests of waves coming up in front of me so what I'm trying to do is catch those as they're rising in front of the sun Creeping in, right I'm still on a fast shutter speed, I'm going to zoom in as far as I can because what I'm trying to see is where is the break in the waves and the water's coming in really close to me now. I'll just check and see if I'll move my filter down because I'm getting some nice light, I'm just watching for the waves breaking. Wow. See some real nice waves breaking beside me. <laughs> it's catching them. Right, I'll tell you what, I'm going to go handheld. So stabilizer on, auto focus on. Um, just try to see if I can catch anything here. Oh, wow. Right, so I'm just going to see if I can kind of lie down and try and see if I can get some of the the waves back lit. Ah, that's isn't it? It's not quite. Now, to be fair, I'm saying it's not quite what I'm hoping for, but I'm not really going to know until I put it on the big screen and then I can see what detail I'm getting. Right, I'm going to see if I can take some shots of that windmill. Eh, the windmill, the lighthouse. Right, 
Right, so I'm focusing in. There's a lighthouse down on the bottom left hand side. Um, it's quite far away, so hopefully I've got my focal right. So the reason I'm shooting this way, this, the sky has changed colour. And it's actually a really nice kind of violet pink. So I've still got my fast shutter speed on because I was hoping that I could maybe get some waves. Uh, so even though I've got the lighthouse in the top left hand side, I'm still trying to get some of the waves coming through, maybe from the bottom left, and then maybe the crest of some of the waves giving me a line in front of the lighthouse if that's possible. I mean, some nice images. So I've switched back to the shorter lens, which in this sunlight is giving me a cracking uh, sky. It's really nice because the sky is really blue now. Um, I've got, because I'm using the filter, I've got quite a nice dark gradient. So I've increased my shutter speed to a 30, to 30 second, uh, sorry. A thirtieth of a second F8 ISO 100. I'll tell you what is nice though, that sky down here is incredible. So with the wider lens, I'm kind of struggling a bit because oh, I've got movement again in the sand. So I'm just going to focus in on the centre, take a couple of shots, I'll drop my filter down just a bit I'm trying to get a bright foreground because the sky is so soft so the sky is now changed from a kind of pastely pink and violent now to a grey and a blue because the clouds are starting to come up from the horizon and it's actually really nice so if I zoom out now I've got a different perspective obviously and I've got such a, a wide angle view here. So the other thing I've noticed as I've taken this photograph, there's a lot of texture in the sand to my right. So what I might do is take advantage of that. I'm going to zoom in, take advantage of it. I'll reduce the height of the horizon. I'm just going to lift the filter I'll need to recheck my focal point, take a couple of shots. That's actually really nice. So if I speed up the shutter speed just a bit, yep, that's a nice shot. I'll wander back and if there's anything I see I'll take more images and I'll share them with you but if I don't hopefully we've got a video out of this this morning real surprise a really beautiful sunrise I absolutely didn't expect it to be as gorgeous as it was I did expect it to be cloudy or have some form of clouds and overcast so thank you for watching if you haven't subscribed please do, you know it's free. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you press the bell notification, that'll notify you the next time I post a video. So thank you, and here's to the next video.